This is the Stevens Model 320 from Savage Arms. There's a lot of cool things to look at on this particular shotgun. We've been running it for a couple months. Going to bring you guys a rainside review on this. So, as I mentioned, this is a Steven shotgun produced by Savage Arms. Um, it, this is the tactical model. Comes clearly with a uh, tactical uh, stock on it with the, uh, with the pistol grip and the actual uh, butt stock portion. Uh, I do like that it has this massive pump kind of reminiscent of our uh, of the Benelli Supernova. Lots of area on here. I can get almost three hands on this sucker. Uh, sights come standard with bead with just a uh, with a front bead on it, and it does come with a Picatinny rail mount that I have removed. You can see it's been drilled and tapped here for that. Uh, this operates off of a rotating bolt. You can see that here, which is pretty beefy. I'm not gonna lie, uh, but Rotating bolt, also very reminiscent of the Benelli Supernova. Now, uh, as far as this uh, stock setup is concerned, uh, there are two types of shotguns. The types of shotguns that have the, the safety up front and those that have that on the top of the receiver. This is set up for the proper position for use with a pistol grip shotgun. However, the magazine release or the actual slide release, rather, is not set up in the right position for that. So that is a little bit of a miss on the Stevens, is the actual magazine release, or excuse me, I keep saying magazine release, the actual uh, action release is on the re uh, reflected side of the receiver. So you have to either remove your hand, actuate it, pump, or you have to come out of the firing position, use your thumb on the reverse side and pump but the safety is in the correct position. Uh, loading, you can see that this has a spring-loaded lifter that you have to push past each time. I'm not a fan of this. I'm more of a fan of the Mossberg style where you literally just drop the shell in and then you can ram it forward instead of this. Now this is not quite as bad as the Remington. This does not give uh, quite as much resistance as a Remington uh, shotgun, but it still does pop up. Whereas the uh, Benelli, for instance, will will pop, uh, does have a, a uh, exposed lifter, but it can be locked down. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and run some more rounds through this. Wombat, you're up. Let's do it. Uh, before we go ahead and load up and get started, just one aspect of it that I didn't notice is you have a gap between your bolt and the rest of the receiver here when it's fully in battery. Um, I'm not a gunsmith or anything like that where I would make some commentary about if that's a positive or a negative, but to me it just gives me the subjective impression that it is a little bit maybe cheaply made. But as far as loading goes, I can tell you that this lifter does not really bother me. I would prefer that it stays out of the way, but unlike my Remington 870, this is a lot easier to work with and it does not cut the top of my thumb with every single shell. However, the magazine tube itself, at least when compared to the Benelli Supernova, for example, does give me a little bit more resistance pushing each shell and it's not extremely smooth there, but it's definitely not bad. Definitely right. not bad. Now, um, that said, before we get, get going on this, uh, if you look at the front here, it does have capacity to accept uh, larger uh, magazine tube extensions, should you desire to. It has this ring system that it, uh, free floats on the tube, so you're not pinned at five rounds, say, if you had like a Mossberg 500. So when those extensions do come out, they may be out. I don't know if they're out. Uh, they will, uh, there, there will be capacity to make them at some point in time. All right. See how it shoots. Go ahead. Uh, well, it does give you a lot more recoil than heavier shotguns will because it is definitely a very lightweight weapon. Um, this is a little bit punishing. Not gonna I'm lie. not going to lie. You are 100% correct. It, it's, it's doable. 
Definitely, but I'm used to a couple of shotguns that I own that are just very comfortable. I find them to be very comfortable to shoot. This, even with just two and a three, uh, two and three quarter bird shot, is a little. It lets you know. That it you gets shoot your attention. Gauge. <laughs> it gets your attention. I'm it not gonna lie. Does. Um, as far as the firing cycle goes, uh, the pump's pretty smooth on it. It's it's a little bit gritty, not quite as smooth as Benelli, but as you can see, it's you not a Benelli. Do you still it? I mean, it's not. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, a Benelli. price range on these does vary widely, but um, <laughs> as far as the action on it goes, I, I find it to be pretty solid. It, it's comparable to a Remington 870, I would say. But you know what's, 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 what is somewhat uh, what some is somewhat insane is uh, it is a uh, the receiver is all metal construction mm -hmm. and it is that gun is probably half the weight of the Benelli. Oh, definitely. It's yeah. it's very light. It has a heat shield on it, yeah. all that all that jazz, and it is still lighter than the polymer construction. Yeah. And the heat shield is pretty functional. Yeah. Actually, I'm not going to go all the way out there, but heat shield is definitely doing its job. So it's worthwhile to add a little bit of weight there. Uh, at yeah. least on the with this particular setup and that is the stock setup like i like i mentioned that is not uh there's no mods to that at all it does come with the ability to attach uh uh the actual sling through the stock and the front has a swivel port on it you can see there that uh uh you can in fact attach a stock or a sling to it so yeah, and, and I do like the ergonomics of the grip up here as well. It's actually similar to the Supernova where, as I mentioned previously, you can get a little bit of extra leverage with your thumb, especially for hot weather like what we're going through right now, and I'm sweating bullets <laughs> and shooting bullets. Um, you do have a little bit of surface there to grip onto and work with. So I, I think that this is executed pretty well. Excellent. Well, let's run some more rounds. Let's do it. Uh, it is a little bit harder to top load shells on this just because the size of the breech is pretty small. I mean, this is a three inch uh, shell capable firearm, not a th uh, three and a half inch for 12 gauge, but they don't give you a whole, whole lot of room to work with as far as more dynamics oriented type stuff like that. Some, some of the uh, shotguns come with an oversized uh, breech in the receiver and just a three inch capable uh, barrel instead of a three and a half inch cable barrel. This literally will not cycle a spent three and a half inch shell. Like there's no way it will fit out of this port. So regardless if you're capable of putting a a, a barrel that is chambered in three and a half inch magnum, they need to maybe they'll come out with a model down the road that has a uh, an oversized well there. But and you know that being said, uh, I personally keep three inch buckshot for him defense load, not three and a half. I, I personally just don't see it used very often. It's expensive too. It's expensive, it's harder to find as well. I don't see it on a whole, whole lot of shelves. So three inch shells are definitely adequate for you know lawful purposes. <laughs> uh, three and a half inch uh, is, is a little bit wild. But you, if you're somebody who is a shooting enthusiast and, and like to have some fun with that, uh, you do have a little bit of a drawback there as far as the variety of ammunition you're able to use with it. Right. But it's definitely still fun to shoot, so I'm going to keep doing that. We Has that not, extended weight? We have not done a lot of shotgun work <laughs> this year, so... Now, one thing I did notice... And you know, this could be just due to my lack of experience with this particular gun. It doesn't seem to me like even with the rotating bolt, I was getting a whole lot of push ejecting those shells out. Well, that may very well be, but you know, that could also be your arm strength. That is definitely a significant factor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah. just compared to uh, you know a, a premium level shotgun like the Benelli, the, this isn't giving you quite that much uh, in terms of. They're really flinging their shells out, but uh, it runs well. It absolutely does run well. Cool. Totally wasted that dragonfly. Well, anyway, that is the look at the Stevens 320 Tactical by Savage Arms.
pretty solid package.